Welcome back to the Nightlife Podcast, guys. Today we do a little bit of um, a quick, quick, quick episode. This is no more than four or five minutes. It's about um, renegotiating your deal. This is one of those quick ones we did for YouTube, for IGTV, and it's a question that I get asked a lot. So anyway, here it is. When is a good time to renegotiate your current deal? Welcome back to IGTV and today I'm going to answer one more of your questions. When is a good time to renegotiate your deal? And the answer is very easy. Never. Just kidding. It all really depends. There is no specific time. There is no written rule on when is a good time to renegotiate a deal. Um, And it's for a few different reasons. First of all, is the fact that you want Um, a deal to be perfect but there is no such thing as a perfect deal now what you can get to is a fair deal but we'll get back into that in a little bit and then you have the other thing which is important and is the fact that you are trying to build a long-term relationship the better the deal the longer the relationship will, will be between you and the venue and your customers of course so let's get back to the beginning and see how do you get the best possible deal at the beginning um, and and how do you give yourself an opportunity to renegotiate. Ideally, you start at the beginning with the deal that you want, the one you dream of, the one that most people ask for, which is 100% of the door, 20% of the bar. By the way, when I talk about being fair, nothing above that is fair in the end. You need to make sure the venue is not getting hurt. Any deal that gives you from the venue anything more than 20% of the bar and 100% of the door is gonna hurt the venue. And I would definitely not even take it because right away from experience, I know that they won't be able to pay up, uh, uh, you know, probably in a few weeks after you begin. Unless they're in a different business and then you don't wanna be a part of that either. All right, so when you arrive at the beginning and you negotiate your deal, The first thing you should be doing is leaving the doors open. You get a deal that you don't think is the one you deserve, then you say, all right, I would start with this deal you're offering me, but I want to come back and revisit our deal in the next X amount of time. Three months, for example, is a good time to see if everything is going um, good. If you are making the numbers you want, you're making the money. If the club is making the money, if the main promoter you're working for is making the money, or if you're the main promoter, if you're making the money, all of those things. So just give yourself an open opportunity to renegotiate again. Now, when you get to that point, make sure you do it fairly. Try to achieve that 100% of the door and 20% of the bar. Remember when I spoke about this on, on one of the episodes, I did mention when you get those kinds of deals, there are some expenses that you now have to acquire because the venue cannot pay that much and also pay all the expenses that have to do with promotion, production, and everything that happens behind uh, the scenes. So again, no specific time to renegotiate a deal, but you definitely have to leave the door open for renegotiation. Now, if you've been working at a venue for over a year, year and a half, two years, and you feel that you are working hard and you deserve a better deal, the worst thing that you can do is not ask. So go ahead, try to get a better deal today. And believe me, the worst thing that can happen is that somebody says no. And hey, maybe it's time for you to start looking at other options. So I hope that helped. And I'll see you guys at the next IGTV.